Hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fadi. in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful player card hover effect using Elementor page builder. So initially we can see only these players images and when you hover over on it we can see the borders are coming with beautiful animation. Also the overlay texts are coming very smoothly. I will show you how to make it very very easily using Elementor page builder. So without further ado let's now go inside Elementor page builder. So right now we are inside Elementor page builder. By the way, in this tutorial, we'll be using Elementor flex container. So make sure from your WordPress dashboard, let's go to Elementor settings. From there, go under experiments tab and make sure the flexbox container option is active. All right, let's now go inside Elementor. Here, first of all, to take a new container, click on this plus icon. And here I wanna take this row directed container. Here, first of all, I'm just making its minimum height to 100 VH. Also, I'm making the justify content to centered and align items to centered. So, all the inner items would be vertically and horizontally centered. All right, let's now go under style tab. From here, I wanna give it a solid background color. So, from the color picker, I'm selecting the color that's hash 1C, 1C, 1C. All right, now within this container, click on this plus icon. Here, I'm dragging an inner container here. And first of all, I'm making its content width to full width. And from here, width, I'm selecting it in pixel. And I'm giving here 300 pixel of width. Also, the minimum height, I'm setting it to 400 pixel. Then similar like before, I'm making the justify content to centered, align items to centered. Now here with this container, I want to add a background image. So go under style tab. From here, background type, let's select an image. So first of all, I'm selecting namers image. Click on insert media. And you know, to set its position from here, I'm setting the position to sender sender. Also from size, I'm making it to cover. Then the next thing I want to do, I want to add an overall effect with it. So to do it, let's now scroll down from left. Now from here, let's go inside background overlay. And here initially on the normal state, the background type, I'm making it just a solid color. So from here, I'm making it just black color. And then on the normal state, I'm making the opacity value to zero. So we can see the image clearly. But on the hover state, so just click on hover. I'm making the background type to a solid color. So that would be black color again. But this time, I'm just making the opacity value more. To increase it, let's drag it to the right side. I'm just making it 0.85. Also here, the transition duration, I'm making it 0.5. So here initially we can see only the image and when you hover over on it, we can see the overlay effect here. And also we can see 0.5 transition duration like this. All right, now within this container, I wanna take another inner container. So click here on this plus icon and I'm dragging this container here. And with this container, make sure this container is selected. I'm also making the justify content to centered, align items to centered. Now within this container, click on this plus icon. Here I'm first adding a heading widget. And here I wanted to say the player's name. That would be Neymar Jr. Also, I wanna do a bit of styling from here. So I'm making the text color to white color. Also, let's open the typography. I'm just increasing the font weight to 900. All right, let's now click on the Rubik's Cube icon because here underneath this heading, I wanna add another heading. So here I'm dragging this heading widget underneath this heading here. And I wanted to say, for example, forward then Brazil. Also, let's do a bit of styling. So here I'm making the text color to white color. Also from typography, I'm increasing its weight to 700. And here I wanna do another important thing with this heading. Let's go under content tab. And here instead of H2, I'm making it H6, just like this. So we are almost done with the layout. I'm showing you very shortly how to do the final animation with it. But now before moving forward, I just wanna let you know that we have launched our exclusive Elementor kit marketplace, that's kitpapa.com. Here you will get all the ready Elementor website kits from different niches like business website, photography website, restaurant website, you can name it. So you can now make your own website or your client's website within a minute. We're also adding new template kits every week on kitpapa.com. All right guys, let's now get back to the tutorial. All right, so from here, make sure you have selected the very inner container. This one, let's select it. 
go under its advanced tab and from here let's open the custom css field by the way custom css is only available on elementor pro i will put my elementor pro affiliate link in the description if you purchase elementor pro through my affiliate link you don't have to pay any extra but i will get a little credit for that that will help me to continue this youtube channel and make more interesting tutorials like this all right now within this custom css field i will be adding some css snippet and no worries i already have written the custom css code for you so to get it you just need to go to jimfahaddigital.com i will put this pages link in the description so from that page if you scroll down a little bit here you see it says player card css from there let's just copy this whole css snippet from this place let's just copy this snippet from here go inside elementor and paste the code snippet here now if I minimize the bar from left and have a look here. So here initially we can see only the image and if we hover over on it we can see the border is coming with beautiful animation. Also have a look the texts are coming with beautiful animation as well. And also you have some control over it. So if I just open the bar from left just have a look on this code snippet. You don't need to do with rest of these lines just focus on this top two lines here so first this border color here you can replace this color with any other color to change the color of this border here around so i have used here rgba color code for the white color but let's say if you just want to make it a red color i'm just removing this color code from this place and here i'm just writing red now if i minimize it and have a look here the border color is now red actually red is burning my eyes so instead of red for example if you just write here sky blue and have a look so it's looking like it right now then let's say if you just want to increase or decrease the size of this border you can do that from here as well so by default i have set it to 10 pixel but if you want to reduce it to 2 pixel from here just make it to 2 pixel and have a look here it's now little tiny two pixel of border but instead of that let's say if you want to make it really really big so here i'm just making it 20 pixel and have a look now so it's now looking huge but instead of that actually i just want to go back to the previous value so here i'm making it to 10 pixel and the color code here i'm adding the rgba white color code all right now if you want to make more curves in the same row you know you just need to select the outer container this one let's just duplicate it and here i'm duplicated one more time like this so we have got three curves here so the first card let's select its parent container this one go under its style tab from here i just want to replace this image with message image so from here i'm selecting messy image and here click on insert media also i want to take the help of the navigator so right click here and open the navigator so here the first heading here go under content and instead of neymar junior here i just wanted to say messy and the second heading i just wanted to replace with argentina so here it's looking like it now let's do the same thing with this third container so here i'm selecting the parent container this one go under its style tab first of all i just want to change this image with ronaldo's image so from here i'm selecting ronaldo's image click on insert media and now if you can't select the name from here just take the help of the navigator so here i'm opening the third container within there we have got another container so within that here is the first heading so it should be the name here i'm writing ronaldo and here is the secondary heading so here instead of brazil here i'm just typing portugal all right let's now close the navigator and have a look also i'm just minimizing the bar from left so we can see it properly initially we can see only the images and when we hover over on it we can see the text with animated borders it's looking really really nice right now all right the very last thing i just want to check how it's looking on mobile device and tablet device so to check it from here let's click on the responsive mode first of all let's go to the tablet mode here everything is looking great on tablet device also if you just want to see it properly just minimize the bar from left so here everything is looking great on tablet and let's now go to the mobile device on the mobile device everything is looking great as well cool so let's just close the responsive bar from top right corner 
also let's open the bar from left and when you are happy with your work don't forget to click on this green update button to save your work i hope you have learned something new today if you like it please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever i will upload a new video on this youtube channel and if you want me to help you on your wordpress project or elementor project then you can contact me through my website that's jimmyfahaddigital.com i will try my best to help you personally once again thank you so much for watching this full tutorial i will see you in the next video for now bye bye